Welcome to this week's episode of Paul and Cooks. I'm Nick Miles and Cisco have provided us with a chef who's going to make healthy eats for us today. It's Catherine Bliss from the Rendezvous Grill. Catherine's going to cook up a really delightful lentil butternut squash soup. We're going to do some braised Brussels sprouts and finish it off with salmon, which has a very beautiful citrus curry sauce. Oh, I've got my apron on, which means it must be time to sizzle. Welcome to this week's episode of Paul and Cooks. I am Nick Miles and we are in our Bradley Design and Education Center studios here. You can go to bradley.net and find out all about our studios and some of the great Wolf and Sub-Zero appliances that they have inside this studio. Now today Cisco have provided us with one of Portland's healthiest and most talented chefs. It's Catherine Bliss from the Rendezvous Grill. And tell me a little bit about the Rendezvous Grill. What sort of food do you do, Catherine? Okay. Well, I do uh, Northwest cuisine, kind of an eclectic style. My uh, cuisine is more ingredient driven. Um, if it needs an Asian twist that, that will highlight the, the food, I do it. I do some Mediterranean food as well. And um, we're located about 13 miles east of Sandy, Oregon on Highway 26 at, uh, we say, mile post 40. Yeah. Now, you have brought a delightful selection of healthier foods yes. to the show yes. today. And we're going to cook three different dishes today. Tell me about the dishes we're going to cook, Catherine. We're going to fo focus on beans and um, vegetables. Okay, so the so first the, dish the is... The first dish is going to be a uh, yellow... Uh, yellow lentil and butternut squash soup. And then we're also going to make uh, something with Brussels sprouts, right? Yes, we're going to do braised Brussels sprouts and also a citrus curry salmon. Oh, it sounds really delectable. Now, what are the ingredients for this soup? You've got them laid out in front of us here. We're so. going to start with sautéing onions and garlic, and then we're going to add our yellow lentils. We also have some greens here. Um, these are collard greens in a chiffonade style, and that chiffonade refers to the cut. Nice. Some fresh lime juice and some reduced fat coconut milk because it's healthier. Nice. Yes, okay. and also fish sauce. Fish sauce, and then and this is? The green curry paste. Okay. Which is a, a Thai ingredient. Yeah, so nice. how are we gonna begin? Well, we're gonna add a little bit of cooking oil. Now the butternut squash, a little bit daunting. We need to get cubes of butternut squash, nice little cubes, and it's like, how do I prepare this? Nice. So we have peeled it. You're just gonna take a peeler and peel it. It actually peels fairly easily, right? It, it peels very easily. And the skin's fairly thin on the butternut squash, the right? The skin is thin. We're going to slice it in half. Be careful the way you slice it. Yeah. You see how beautiful that is? Yeah, it looks very natural beautiful, and very beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful color. And you just need to take the seeds out. Nick, do you want to give that a stir? I am ready to thing. stir your uh, onions for you. Okay. Okay. The butternut squash. We're just going to cut slices of it. Now once you've cubed those up, are they ready to cook or do you need to pre-cook them? Or? No, they're ready to cook. We're going to okay. add them right to the soup broth. And there you go, your nice little cubes like that. And that's all you need to do. Okay, okay. so now we've got the uh, the onions here. You the looking onions for translucent? Going. Yeah, translucent. Yes. Cook them off a little bit. And we can add the garlic now. The garlic you want to add a little later. You don't want it to burn. And garlic tends to burn a little bit. Burns easily, right? It does burn easily. Yeah. And of course, don't worry about the amounts of all these ingredients. You can go to our website at paulandcookstv.com and it will have all of Catherine's recipes there from today. And so you can actually try and make them at home. Mixing in the garlic. Mixing in the garlic. Now we're going to add the lentils. It's about a cup of lentils. And we're going to add seven cups of water. This is a good dish to prepare when your vegetarian friends come over. Right. Yes, yes, yes. This is going to take, oh, about 30, 35 minutes to cook. The nice thing about lentils is they cook fast. Okay. Cook so fast. while that's getting heated up and while we're getting everything else ready to go, let's take a look at this week's cooking tip. Hello, my name is Mark Brnicic, I'm the Corporate Chef of Cisco Portland. Today on your kitchen tip, I'm going to go over how to cook a simple steak, how to get the deadness or temperature done right, and of course how to season it. Every piece of protein, chicken, fish, 
pork, beef should be seasoned with salt and pepper. Freshly ground if you can, both sides. And what I have is a preheated grill to 350 degrees. Or you can use a saute pan. The important thing is when you add it in, you want to hear a little bit of sizzle going on. That means you're cooking, it's going to start browning. Instead of turning gray and the moisture is going to come out. Also I have a little bit of oil in the pan or in the saute pan to help facilitate the browning of the meat or caramelization of the meat. In the restaurant industry, we teach cooks how to tell temperature or doneness by feel. And if you put your thumb and your pinky finger together, if you touch your hand right here, it gives. It's rare. If you touch here, it, there's no give. It's, it's tight. That's a well done piece. Right in here is a nice medium rare. So as the muscle tissue cook, it's going to it's going to coagulate and tighten, and that's how we're going to tell the doneness of the steak is how it feels on the outside when we press on it. So we're going to shoot for a nice medium rare on this. We're going to turn it only once, and we're going to feel that texture of the meat, and hopefully we'll stick it. So our steak is medium rare, feel by the, by the touch of it. Normally what we want to do is let any steak rest for about five or so minutes so the juices get pulled back in so they don't run out. But we're going to carve this little guy and see how I did on cooking it. How's that? Medium rare? Oh, perfect. So there's your medium rare steak, all done by feel. It takes a little bit of effort, a little bit of time, a little bit of practice to get it, but if you do, you'll get it now. Mark Brnetich, Cisco Foods, Portland, Corporate Chef. Well, that was this week's cooking tip. Now, with uh, Catherine Bliss from uh, Rendezvous Grill. And Catherine, while, uh, while we were away looking at our cooking tip by the magic of television, here's one of your soups that we have basically had on the go already. Mm -hmm. This actually has a couple of main ingredients that have been added. One was the butternut squash, squash. which we started with, and also the, the coconut, coconut milk. milk. So All right, so with the butternut squash and the coconut milk, which we added during the break, this has been cooking for, this one has been cooking for approximately 45 minutes, right? Well, yes, yes. And we added the butternut squash, and it cooked for about 15 minutes. The butternut squash is getting nice and soft. Okay. And now we are going to add our spices, which is uh, some turmeric. Nice yellow color. Nice yellow. It's going to make the soup look beautiful. Some curry powder. Which is my favorite. Yes, yes, yes. And a tablespoon of this green curry paste is going to make it a little bit spicy. And this is a sort of a, a, a Thai curry paste, this right? This is a Thai curry paste, exactly. We're going to let that cook in. And we can add our greens. I have used collard greens. You can use bok choy. You can use lachanado kale. You could maybe have some chard out in your garden that needs to be used. Any kind of green will use. Right. Will work for this. This is just really ha adding the healthy aspect. Yes, yes. The more vegetables you can get in here, the better. So we've added our greens. And the greens should be pretty finely chopped. Um, now we're going to add, we're going to finish. Those just need to cook two or three minutes. Add um, some lime juice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And some fish sauce. This really makes it yummy. This is what, uh, this is unami in flavor, they say. Unami fish sauce. Yes, yes, yes. Well, it adds that element of unami, yes. While this cooks away, we'll be back with our braised Brussels spouts with our chef from Rendezvous Grill. It's Catherine Bliss when Portland Cooks returns. <laughs>